Well, Michel Jarreau is the Secretary General of the World Meteorological Organization. He joins me now live from Geneva. So, thank you for being with us. Where do you stand then on this debate that Claire Marshall was reporting on? Is this, are we looking at natural variation or are we seeing something specific, something to do with climate change? I, I think the answer is that there's always been variability. However, we have to look at longer periods. And what we see if we look at longer periods is that, first of all, the temperature is increasing. It's not uniform. There are big variations, north to south, ocean, land. But we see uh, an increase also in the extreme events, heat wave. There were some record heat waves over Russia in 2010, Europe, Western Europe 2003, Australia last year. We see also an increase in extreme, some extreme events. And uh, uh, for example, you see the big floods in, uh, in UK. We have seen big floods in other parts of the world as well. And although we cannot attribute any single event to only one cause, it's a result of complex interaction, certainly what we see, unfortunately, is consistent with what we expect from, uh, from climate change. But is it, uh, and you'll correct me, I'm sure, but, but isn't it the case that the international panel that's been looking at climate change, it's actually had to downgrade its forecasts for, for global warming. So that rather suggests that perhaps uh, p people like yourselves, your organization, may have exaggerated the, the, the worries. No, actually, I would not say they've downgraded. I, I think that's uh, maybe it could be somewhat uh, misinterpreted if we use this, uh, this word. Uh, let me explain why. If you look at, for example, 10 year period, decade, uh, the 80s were warmer than the 70s, the 90s were warmer than the 80s, and the, and the, the, the year 2001-2010 was the warmest decade since we have observational record. So I would not call that uh, downgrading. If we have what you call a cold year now, the coldest year in the 21st century since 2001 is actually warmer than the warmest year uh, before 1998, any, any year before so, 1998. This is not what I would call uh, a, a stop in the global warming. All right. So if this, if this process is happening, that there's no doubt about it, uh, we, we are likely to see more extreme events, um, does that really call for mitigation? Does that call for people building better flood defences, better housing and so on, and to stop worrying about, about trying to deal with global warming? Actually, what it does call is for action, for bold and urgent action. And two types of action are required. One is what is we call mitigation, because we should remember that the cause for this uh, human-induced uh, warming is emission of greenhouse gases. That's the main cause. Of course, everyone knows about the CO2, methanes, nitrous oxide, and a number of other gases. So it is important to reduce and actually to decrease the emission of these gases. Otherwise, the objective of keeping the global warming under two degrees will be very difficult and at some stage will be impossible but that's, uh, to, that, that's to attain if we don't mitigate. I mean, sorry, that, that's, my, that's my point. I mean, very briefly, the fact of the matter is we probably won't be able to stop this, this growth uh, over two degrees, so maybe we should just worry about building better houses and so on. Briefly, if you would. I think we need both. No, no, I, I would not say that because uh, if we do nothing, we are not going to talk about two degrees. We are going to do uh, to talk about maybe six degrees. So it's important to minimize this emission as much as possible okay. and as soon as possible. But in addition, you are quite right. We are committed to some warming. Of course, this warming will be bigger right. if we do nothing Michel than if we do something. But these adaptations will have also to be uh, to be addressed.